Oh my God, you let these dogs out in the cold. It's like, hello, we're toy dogs. We're not real. Let us in. Oh God, it's that monster, Meryl. He's a monster, let's bark at him. It's cold, it's unacceptable that you let us out. Unacceptable. You think I'm a monster. Come on, sissy. I live with you, four years. Go. He's a monster. Have you ever heard the expression, raining cats and dogs? Do you think that that's a coincidence? I don't. The cat gods are behind this rain that is happening right now. They fear the Silver Slayer. And they know that when it's raining, my wife will beat my ass. Yeah, they know my wife will kick my butt if, uh, if I track mud in the house. So we're going to the beach. I can't track sand in the house either, but at least there's a hose outside that I could uh, wash my feet off. So we're going to the beach. We're going to an older beach. What I'm hoping to get is some skilva, some old, old skilva. Well, it sure is windy. Let's see if uh, there's any pushing. Yep, we got beach erosion. I mean, we had it yesterday, but. All right, we're getting signals. We're getting cans law. It's a quarter. Dimmy. So take a look at these waves. A storm at high tide is a lot more valuable to us than a storm at low tide, if you think about it. And right now we're getting close to low tide, but this has been going on for a while. So, you know, I'm seeing sporadic push-in, but that event that happened a few weeks ago, that was a major, major push-in from a storm at high tide that peaked during high tide. Dimmy. Deep beach rubbish. You know, there's no structure to this. You know, the closest thing that I see is down the beach. You got two things that could line up into a coin line. But if you get two signals, of course you could plot it to a line. Anything could be a line with like two or three signals, especially two. So really there's no structure here. I'm looking for structure. All right, interesting signal. 44, 45, occasionally goes up to 50. It looks like a battleship. Another dim. Screw. On the dimmy again. Dimmy. It's a quarter. Nickel. Dimmy. It's a quarter. Greeny penny. So we got another signal here. If you notice, the coins that I'm getting, that was the first one that's green. We are starting to get a patch, but are we getting a green patch? That's a whole nother level there. That's where you find the epic stuff that gets pushed in. You see this one, it's, uh, it's not green. See the red in there and the orange? Yeah, just a clad dime, greeny. You know, it's been in for a long time. It, copper turns that color when it is exposed to that for a long time. Greeny pushing comes from far out there. And we got another dimmy. I've been getting a lot of dimmies lately. Nickel. It's a quarter. Nickel. Greeny alert. Nickel. Greeny nickel. 93. Could this be a can? Holy massive ring. Uh, is that a Taco Bell ring? We're going to have to take a look at that. I think it might be. What else would it be used for? All right, let's take a look before we uh, run the Taco Bell music. That, that's uh, interesting. 
It's a dimmy. Fishy, fishy, thingy, thingy. This is good sign. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, this is a cut piece of pipe. Sorry, Merrill, no Taco Bell today. Meh. 34 degrees? That's just silly talk. It's still October. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, if you missed it last year, I was in costume. I was I was dressed as a uh, kung fu master last year. Uh, I'm gonna post the link up here, and um, you might want to check that out. Yeah, we 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 did a uh, a costume hunt last year. Th this year we're keeping it simple. I just got the uh, the news about uh, Sean Connery's passing. And uh, as some of you may know, in my recent videos, I have used his voice, uh, I've impersonated his voice as the Silver Slayer. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to do a quick, uh, you know, moment of uh, tribute to him. Uh, my grandpa loved James Bond. I grew up on Bond movies. And uh, he was a part of my youth. And his passing is... It's like one of the remaining parts of my childhood passing away. So uh, I'm very sad about this. And uh, I think I might even get a little uh, emotional if I get silver today. You know, more than the usual excitement. So anything I find today, that's dedicated to you, sir. So uh, rest in peace, Mr. Uh, Sean Connery. New Park, I don't particularly see trees that are that old. Or, which makes me a little nervous about it, so we shall see. I don't know if this looks like Phil or, you know, this is a very small little park. And I see that there is a basin for water, a little uh, drainage thing. So that could be, this could be Phil. Let's go over and take a look. Yeah, look at this. This tells me that uh, water was once in here. And the question is, how long ago? Um, historic aerials, I looked it up. And even in the 60s, this was an active park. So let's give it a go. For anybody who's just tuning in, what we are trying to do is we are trying to fill a box of silver called fill up the box. So by the end of the year this has got to be completely full completely full got a lot of work to do first signal 1993 quarter not too deep see the frost on the grass that's not good this tree gives me some hope you see the roots you know it's rooted out um how old it is it, trees can be deceptive but uh, i would say that's at least uh, 30 40 years old so I saw this and I'm like, silver, uh, but it was two coins stuck together. So 30 cents. All right, we'll take it. All right. This is what I was looking for. I don't think it's silver, although it could be. It's a deeper signal. Let's see the date on that. Penny 1978. I might not have had it lined up properly. Uh, but uh, five inches down another quarter all right here we go 48 and deep and by this old root we have made contact and it is deep at least a foot down that pinpointer is nine inches itself and we are below the ground Oh, that just broke my heart right there. Deep can slow up, but look at this, it's got glass. This is something a little different. Okay, well, it's interested me enough to stick around. That was a foot and a half down in dirt. Holy cow, okay. Yeah, if there's anything that's old in this park, it's this tree. So let's, uh, let's look around here for a little bit. Interesting. Okay. Deep Dimmy, I can't see the date, I'm blind. 
but we know it is after uh, 1965, after 1964. All right, ground is extra conductive today. I think I'm gonna go to a more proven park considering that I'm getting a boost with the uh, amount of depth that I'm getting. This is really good. Yeah, we're back because I believe there's a deeper level in this place. I call this place Magic Park because you think you pound it and then just more silver appears and appears and appears. It keeps happening. So I'm hoping for more today. Right off the bat, the other thing that is more in play than usual is the ground. We have extra uh, depth or sensitivity to what we're Ooh, trying to nice. detect because the ground is saturated. Uh, I, the last few days have been raining. This is the first dry day since uh, it started to rain. And when that happens, you get a little bit extra depth on your metal detector. Okay, there we go. Nail. Oh. oh, but that nail was hiding a wheat scent. We are on the wheat. Yes, and look at what else it was hiding. Hogging dies. Has been unlocked. There we go. 1956. There we go. That thing was masking two two coins, including one Skilva. We're on the Skilva board. There we go. Here we go again. 44, 45, 46. Money penny. That's for you, Mr. Connery. Here we go again. Bouncing around everywhere. Dimmy. Number two. Hagen dies. Has been unlocked. Number dose. It is a Merc. I'm telling you, man opportunity you know th this was a day that uh you get that extra uh, boost to your signals okay listen very carefully the next time that it pours this is what you do you get your boots you get your knee pads you go to your park that you had a great time detecting in you, you got great stuff there you know that there's great stuff there and uh, you get that those extra few inches, and it makes all the difference in the world. Try that the next time that it rains. So we're already at two. I pounded this place to death, okay? I don't even know if this is deeper, but it's just, uh, it's amplified. If there's stuff that's around it, um, I don't know, it made the signal very true. Dimmy, another nice signal. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. This is a little lower. Got a forty-six. Let's dig. This one was just a regular dimmy. Dimmy. Penny. Penny. Relic alert. Look at this thing. What is it? Any ideas? Well, that's interesting. And look at what uncovering that has uncovered. Just a penny. Today shows me there's no shortage of signals. Still at this park, even though I pounded it. This one, 1970s pen. Don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but we got seriously deep here. That is... I would estimate 10 inches. Yeah, that last signal was just a false. Penny. Nickel cameo. Another nickel. Wow, look at this. 
I thought it was a bullet casing. But it seems to be the bottom of a container. It's golden on top like it was plated. Now well, we gotta take a closer look. I'll leave it up to you uh, experts out there. You do a lot better than me at this. Penny. Meh. Zinkong. Shotgun shell. The plot thickens. Meh. Meh. What, is it? what the fucking muffin? Let's break it. Mm, meh. Uh oh. It's deep enough. Could it be a modern quarter? Just a modern quarter. That's a quarter. Good. We're on the wheat. That's a quarter. Is there such a thing as a silver screw? Nah, can't be. What the heck is this? Is it for lobotomies? What the heck? Aha! Number three is that. Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Oh, yes, it is. This is either seated or a barber. That was deep. Oh, what is it? What is it? Seated! Yes! See the dime. Yes, there we go. 1875. Take a seat. Take a seat. Whoo, that's incredible. This was a very, very dim signal. It got illuminated. I knew there was another layer here. I knew it. Oh, yes. Seated, baby. There we go. All right, we got another iffy one. I really didn't think anything of the last signal. I mean, I was like, yeah, let's give this a try. But I was like, I have to edit it out of the video. All right, 48. Let's see what we got. Oh, snap. Bah humbug, this was a foot down piece of iron, but this is exciting. All right. I've pulled a bunch of Indian heads from here. This is ringing up like one. Nope, washer. Eh, you probably can't see that, but just take my word for it. We're on the wheat. One cent. The other thing this park has is a whole lot of iron. And once you take that out, you get a whole lot more signals. Could just be junk, but you never know here. I'll clean it up. If it's good, you'll see it. See, lots and lots of old iron. Yeah, it's a quarter. Look at how far down that is. Let's dig. No, that one was a false. Let's try again. The signals that I'm pulling today are among the deepest that I've ever pulled. It was really a day for deep sea fishing, the metal detecting version. Confusing one. Dimmy. 1960s penny, it looks like. Old bullet casing. Already dug the plug and we're down quite a bit. Still getting a repeating signal. Let's dig some more. Oh snap, this thing is deep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Crazy. 
Sadly, it's this. But look at how deep that is. That is over a foot. No doubt about it. Nickel. Pipe. Oh, snap. Saddle rivet. 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 Could this be? Drop the mic. For the most part, it's staying above 45. Oh man, another one of these. Meh. Penny. Dimmy. Penny. This could be it. Not crystal clear, but good enough. Iron. On the other hand, this is crystal clear. Question is, how old is it? Not old enough. Yeah, it's a quarter. Dimmy. Yeah, it's a quarter. Sort of repeats. There we go. Dimmy. Ground is drying up in more of the way than one. Penny. Another rivet. 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 Swinging for the fences again. So faint, but repeating. Here we go. Iron, you suck. Look at this, this is like a super pull tab. What the heck? This park is so weird. Back on the wheat. On the wheat. Here we go again. Scratchy, let's dig it. Meh. Solid 45. Clearly repeating. I think we did. Is it? Yes, it is. What is that? Hogging dies. Has been unlocked. What the hell is that? That's a foreign coin. What the hell is that? It's Canadian, Canadian silver. That counts. 1903, 10 cents. I have never found one of those. Bucket lister right there. Whoa. Hey King, what's up? Canadian silver. Number four, that's for you, Mr. Connery. Wish I could get seven, but uh, I think that uh, that would be pushing it. Uh, nice signal. Three pennies. Okay, we just got something possibly good. Is it a button? I think it's a button. I think it is a button. That's a beauty. What is that? What the heck is that? All right, we clean it up and uh, take a look at it. Yeah, I have no clue what this is. That looks like it says red or is that Liberty? I have no idea. There's some writing, and uh, there was a nail that was through there. I was able to get part of the nail out, so it was, uh, you know, it, it, I've seen that. I've seen holes in coins before, but uh, there's a lot of cleaning that I have to do. I'm going to do electrolysis on this, but uh, I would love it if anybody can identify this. Uh, I'll be reading the comments. Here we go again. I think it's too close to the surface, but let's see. Meh. That's a quarter. Uh, is this an old lock cylinder? Whoa. That's funky. Wow. That's a quarter. Yes, we did. Number five. That's a surprise. 
Hagen does. Has been unlocked. That's a surprise, 1964. Okay, yeah, I thought I had been through this way. I guess not. Number five on the day, can we get seven? Let's get seven for Sean. Demi, uh, I don't know if this is possible. I'm gonna try, but uh, you know, family, man. You gotta be family. Uh, let's try. Quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. Quarter. Honestly, what I'm doing, I've neglected this infield because I know if, we, you know, baseball dirt, uh, they probably put filler over the baseball dirt, but I was wrong about that. Here we go again. Probably not, but let's give it a try. Nope. Yeah, it's a quarter. I'm heading back to my car right now. If I get something on, significant on the way back to my car, we continue. If not, that's a hunt. I did my best, Sean. Oh my God. Let me clean the screen so you can see this. <laughs> that's a silver signal. Not silver. All right, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. Five is gonna have to be your tribute, Sean. Sorry. Now it's time to count it up and for my dogs to yell at me. Hi, bro. Hi, sissy. Jerks. Hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. Ah. Oh. Hi, sissy. Come back. Come back. Come here, bro. We live together. Come here, bro. Whatever. All right, let's organize this. All right, in Cled, we got one, two, three, four, five dollars and fifty cents. Plus all of these pennies, not counting the Zinkins. Here's all the yunk. There was some interesting yunk. I mean, you got the bullet here. You got uh, this thing. This is probably an old um, makeup container. That was a deep signal. This is cool. It's like a tool. Look at the uh, wrapping in here. Yeah. Um whatever the heck this is the silver screw I doubt it's silver um, the door thing I think it's a door thing another bullet um, I'm yet to clean these up this I'm curious what it is um, and also this this could turn out to be something really cool um, but we have to clean it first and we got the five pieces of silver This is awesome Canadian penny not penny uh, dime dimmy from 1903 The king and we got two rosies Sixty four and Let's see. 56. And we got the Merc. 1928. And when you get seated, man, that's a special day. So 1875 silver. That's pretty cool. And five wheat cents. She won't get on camera, but I gotta say, my lady's pretty funny. <laughs> take a treat, don't forget to vote. Sure, I'll take a treat, that's awesome. We even got hand sanitizer with tape. Wow. All right, wheat cents, instead of letting you accumulate, I'm taking these five to the rest of the friends. 
Go and join your new friends. This is what you call quality control. This is what you call fill up the box. Five new friends, including a Canadian one, eh? Everybody be nice to the Canadian. Have a good day, eh? I didn't really think it was possible, but at the beginning of October, I was saying I want to get 100 pieces of silver by the end of the year. Believe it or not, October, we got to 36. So that's really good. And we're just talking about coins. If we include uh, jewelry, I had that big day, the, this uh, 12 silver day um, at the beach that day. And uh, there were other days that I had that I got uh, silver rings and jewelry. So um, I got to get the final count on that. But it's been a really, really great silver month. Today was a bittersweet day. Uh, we lost a screen legend uh, who played a big role of uh, <laughs> what I watched growing up. You know, I, I, I lived before the uh, super internet uh, flying information era that we're in right now, where you had a few channels. I could remember switching the television by walking up to it and then getting remote control and being like, whoa, we're in the future. So, you know, I, I watched a lot of Bond movies growing up uh, my, uh, by default. My grandpa did. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's a sad day. It, it definitely is. Um, I wouldn't impersonate him the way that I do Sean Connery um, if I didn't uh, like him. So, you know, I, I'm uh, sad and reflective today on that. But um, he will live on forever in these videos. I think uh, the ultimate tribute that I can do, uh, I'm naming, it's no longer the E-Track. It is Sean Connery, the Silver Slayer. I'm naming my machine Sean Connery, the Silver Slayer. And that way, he lives on. He's immortal. Sean Connery lives forever. Peace, everybody.